When it comes to Alzheimer's disease, uh, many people fear Alzheimer's more than death itself. Kevorkian's first assisted suicide person was a person diagnosed in the early stages of Alzheimer's. She'd rather be dead than have Alzheimer's. We fear it uh, terribly. So when people ask about Alzheimer's disease in the context of traumatic brain injury, it's a very interesting question to ask, but oftentimes it's asked in a vacuum because at the conferences that I go to and in the worlds that I travel, we have really separate independent silos where we have Alzheimer's advocates and investigators on one side in one echo chamber and we have traumatic brain injury investigators and advocates in a separate independent echo chamber. Yet, as is pointed out, a lot of people with traumatic brain injuries want to know if they're at greater risk for Alzheimer's. I was asked, for example, by a national uh, media organization, what did I think was the best outcome of this past summer's uh, uh, World Congress on Alzheimer's disease. And to me, I thought the biggest and most impressive outcome was finally at the same conference at the same time, we had not only Alzheimer's experts, but also traumatic brain injury experts and people that were expert in post-traumatic stress disorder. To me, that was fabulous because these are parallel, independent universes that otherwise, at an investigator level, relatively and at an advocacy level, oftentimes don't intersect at all. So when asked about risk of Alzheimer's disease, I think what's important to understand is we don't know what causes Alzheimer's disease, nor do we know how to effectively treat it. In that sense, we know more about HIV AIDS than Alzheimer's disease. We know what causes HIV AIDS, and we know how to significantly slow its progression. We don't know either of those issues definitively in Alzheimer's and the other irreversible dementias. And so one of the ways you spell hope is research. We need more research to spell hope. And so we need more public advocacy for these issues.